Hi friends, welcome to this class and this is second class on non-aqueous solvents and in this class we are going to discuss about classification of non-aqueous solvents. We are going to classify these non-aqueous solvents into four categories. See, I have written all the four here. The first one is protonic and a protonic solvent and the second one is acid, base and amphoteric solvent. And the third type of classification of non-aqueous solvent is ionizing and non-ionizing solvent and the fourth one is coordinating and non-coordinating solvents. In previous class we discussed about what are solvents, its important character and also what are non-aqueous solvents and example for non-aqueous solvent. And this is classification. See, first we should discuss what is pro protonic and a protonic solvents. See, I told you, for example, for protonic solvent is C, H2O, HF, NH3 are the few examples for protonic solvent. From this, it is clear that the protonic solvents are the solvents which has capability to derive the H plus ions from those solvent. For example, H2O. From H2O, we can get H plus. It gives H plus plus OH minus. So we are going to get this H plus from this solvent. So this is protonic solvent. Similarly with HF. HF, we know this is the highly strong acid compared to HCl, HBr, HI. Sorry, sorry, sorry. HI will be the strongest acid. HF will be the weak acid. No doubt it is weak acid. But from this HF solvent, we are going to get this H plus ion and F minus ion. Since we are going to get H plus ion, it can be a protonic solvent. And the example for a protonic solvent. Let me tell you the definition for a protonic solvent. The solvent which we cannot derive the H plus ion. For example, carbon tetrachloride, C, Cl4, carbon tetrachloride, fluorine, and I also the benzene ring. These are organic solvents, and also this is toluene, from which we are not going to get any protons. So this comes under O protonic solvents. And the next set of classification is acid base amphoterics. And we know that in acids, I am going to give the example. If I give the example, it's enough for you to understand its definition. The acid one which gives H plus ion. For example, HCl, HCl can act as solvent. So it is acid solvent, H2SO4, HNO3, HF, all this comes under. Acidic solvent. For basic solvent, we can go with ammonia because of this lone pair of electron, it act as Lewis base and also uh, this ethylene diamine which we have, which you and we, that is you and I have worked in coordination chemistry. What it is? Ethylene diamine. Isn't it? Ethylene diamine. In shortcut, we write that Yes, this also because of these two lone pair of electrons, it also act as base. So these are the two examples for basic solvents and amphoteric solvents. No need to worry. The aluminium, this metal, when treated with water or uh, it forms aluminium hydroxide, which is amphoteric in nature. That is neither it is acid nor it is base. And the H2O. The water molecule is also considered under uh, this category, amphoteric in nature, because it acts as acid as well as it acts as base. When we uh, this one we when we discuss acid base chemistry, there we will get how it acts as amphoteric in nature. There I am going to explain it clearly. Please wait for that video. I am going to shoot it and I am going to upload in my tutorial. So, water also acts as amphoteric in nature. So, I have given you the example for acid base because of these lone pair of electrons and NOH. It also acts as base because of this OH minus ion. So, this is 
so these are few example for this acid base and amphoteric solvents ionizing and non ionizing solvents see ionizing ionizing means see the solvent which will ionize will have higher dipole moment for example water i told the dipole moment of water is 1.86 d something 1.8 d so because of that dipole moment they are polar in nature because of this polarity they are ionizing solvents for example first what i consider h2o consider two molecule of h2o h2o plus h2o one molecule and one molecule how it is going to react is see this h this h2o gives h plus to this and becomes oh minus so since it gives h plus it acts as acid since it takes h plus it acts as base we know once it gives this h plus to this it forms oh minus it becomes oh minus and oh minus because of this lone pair of electron the negative charge it is basic in nature so this is acid it, it will be its conjugate conjugate base they will ask what is the conjugate base of h2o you should write oh minus is the conjugate base of this h2o since it takes this h plus so what it forms h3o plus h3o plus acts as acid so it is conjugate get acid see here h2o gave h plus it acts as acid and here h2o takes this h plus it acts as base so the h2o can act as acid as well as base so it is example for amphoteric solvent this is the example for this amphoteric solvent and it is also example for this ionizing solvent because there is ionization and this is see h2o is acid and its conjugate base and it acts as base and its conjugate acid similarly we can discuss about ammonia hf molecule so3 like that see let me consider now ammonia nh3 let me consider two moles of ammonia one mole of ammonia and other mole of ammonia and this is going to give h plus forming nh2 minus this is amide since it takes h plus it forms nh4 plus this is ammonium ion and this is acts as acid here as this amide acts as base that is ammonium ion see here also ammonia it gave h plus so it becomes h2 minus nh2 minus amide and in organic chemistry the amide is nothing but r c o nh2 ammonia we know if it r c o nh2 this is this we call as amide but in inorganic chemistry amide is nh2 minus so no need to confuse no need to get confused you please in your notebook make a point in organic chemistry amide means r c o nh and in inorganic chemistry it is nh2 minus this is about ionization of ammonia similarly we can do with hf one molecule hf and second molecule of nl hf it gives h plus to this forming f minus and it becomes h2f plus it acts as acid it acts as base and these are two molecule of hf and also one thing you should remember in water medium h2o the h plus acts as acid and oh minus acts as base ha huh, really so in ammonia nh4 plus acts as acid in ammonium solvent nh4 plus acts as acid and nh2 minus acts as base in ammonia solvent similarly in hf solvent this f minus acts as base and h2o h2f acts as h2f plus acts as acid in this hf solvent so we know that h plus acts as acid in only aqueous solvent oh minus acts as base in aqueous solvent that is water solvent and here nh4 plus nh2 minus acts as acid and base in liquid ammonia this is the one thing you need to remember this is few example for ionizing solvents and next we should discuss about 
non ionizing solvent the non ionizing solvents are nothing but again organic solvents the organic solvents like ccl4 benzene toluen they are not going to ionize and these are non ionizing solvents so we discussed about this and what about coordinating and non coordinating solvents we have discussed i mean we have studied coordination chemistry there we see the complex with metal ion like uh, fe fe nh3 six times or like two plus fe nh2 nh2 six times four minus all these forms coordination coordinating bond with metal atom so this is the example for coordinating solvents the solvents like nh2 minus amide they are going to coordinate with fe and also this so2 all these forms coordinating bond with metal but the non coordinating solvents again the organic solvents because these are not going to coordinate with the metal atom and this is about the classification of solvents and in next class we shall discuss about physical properties of solvents and followed by non aqueous solvents till then take care and have a great day